Hello, everyone. Uh, next installment in our series on our markdown. Uh, this time I'm going to show you an easy way to publish the HTML output of your R Markdown document to the web so that everyone in the world can see it. So let's say that I've got an R Markdown document that I have made. Oh no, let's go ahead and just make one uh, from scratch because I want to show you a new uh, template that you might like. So file, new file, R Markdown. And um, let's do it from template. So I'll ignore title and just head to the templates. And I'm interested maybe in CSC 115 R pubs. So that's a template available in the BCSCR package on the server. We'll press OK. And uh, in a moment, we will have an untitled document. And let's go ahead and uh, file save as something. How about, uh, we'll just save it to our home directory. How about uh, help.rmd? Because maybe it's a little article I'm writing to be helpful to someone on some point of coding. And so I'm saving it. And again, you see a uh, YAML front matter. Uh, the thing that's different is that the output is driven by an engine, HTML pretty, that comes from the pretty doc package that is installed on the server. There are some options underneath it. The theme is currently set to K-Man. The way the uh, R code is gonna be highlighted is set to something called GitHub. You can actually change the doc themes to uh, any of uh, five other, or, no, sorry, there are five total themes that you could use. All you got to do is change the word K-Man to architect, tactile, hipster, or Leonids. Um, so um, this is a little sample document for um, how you might write a pretty doc. I've got some sample code in here that eventually you would erase, you know, and, and replace with your own stuff. By the way, this, uh, this text here above the code chunk is just an introduction to you. Uh, make sure that when you have a document you're ready to publish, whether it be homework or any other article, that you go ahead and delete it. So let's say that we had the document uh, composed and uh, let's say, let's knit it up to see if we like how it looks. Okay, here it is in the viewer, pop it up big. That's the K-Man style for our little article. All right. Maybe we'd like a different theme. Let's try Leonids. Save that. Get it up. Looks a little bit different. Pop it up. Ah, it's like there's a sidebar, a little floating sidebar. Okay. Let's say that's the way we, uh, we like to have it at the Leonid's theme. So um, notice over in the viewer where we have, or we're looking at the knitted version, there is a little button called Publish. And if you click it and ask to publish document, then it's going to get you set up with rpubs.com. Let me go ahead and take you to rpubs.com right now. So if you were to Google rpubs, probably the rpubs.com will be the first to hit. And it is a, a free service that is provided by RStudio for publishing uh, our markdown documents in their HTML version. Uh, so it happens to show the most recently published R markdown documents here. Uh, and you can click on them to sort of see what they're about. That's just uh, apparently uh, nothing more than a single graph, not a very interesting R Markdown document. Uh, oops, I lost my R pubs. Let me bring it back. See if there's any. Oh, here's someone who's uh, published their homework. Ah, mm hmm. Not a good practice, uh, publishing your homework uh, before any due dates. Don't want other people to see. 
but who knows, uh, could be after the due date and all that. Okay, so um, the the idea about our pubs, uh, I'm sorry, I should have uh, gone back one more time, um, is that you need to uh, register and get your own RPUBS account. So you'll have a username and a password that you're going to need to remember. And once you have that, if you ask to publish, I'll go ahead and uh, publish this document. Choose RPUBS. We don't have anything called our Studio Connect. Choose RPUBS. And uh, yes, I do want to publish. I'm being reminded that it's going to be visible to the world. There's no private setting for this kind of thing. And um, documents being uploaded to RPUBs. And if, I, if it's a new document or if I haven't published RPUBs in a while, I'm going to be asked to uh, sign in. And it looks like uh, it's auto-filled for me correctly, so I'll go ahead and sign in. And I can give a name to the document, um, sample, article, maybe. Um, this is just a sample, shall be my description. And you can give a slug at the end of the URL for the article so that you have something easy to remember. So how about a sample doc, uh, then continue. And para, it is published. It is published. You can hide the toolbars if you wish, give a larger view of the document. And that URL up at the top is what you can send to other people uh, to, uh, to reference uh, the document for them. And by the way, uh, once you have an account, then you can always see all of your documents by just going to rpubs.com forward slash your account name. And then uh, you have a complete list of everything that you've published. So this recently published article where the thumbnail just showed up is the last thing that I published. And you can always get to the article that way through links. So rpubs is great. Go ahead and sign up for an account and uh, we'll have a uh, many occasions to use it in the rest of the semester, especially in our online setting. That's all for now. See you soon.